piece of equipment. I don't know how quickly I can manage to do this here, but if you put in here, if you're in uh, radian mode, first of all, mode, radian mode, uh, if you put in tangent of x, and I am going to put the window in as 0 to 2 pi. Actually, I'm going to do 0 to 4 pi. 4 pi. Maybe that's a bad idea, but I'll put in pi over 2. Actually, it's probably going to be 2 crammed, but that's okay. I'm going to put in negative 5 to 5 for the vertical. It's probably good enough. It's going gonna, it's gonna to graph it like this, and it tries to connect it. And the reason it tries to connect it is because all this calculator does is it calculates a value every pixel, and then it just draws a line segment in between the pixels. It's not actually analyzing and knowing what the, what the thing really looks like. So what it does is it says, okay, at whatever this value is, calculate the value. Whatever this value is, calculate it. Every time, and it just draws a little line segment. So if at one pixel it's way up at 20, and then the very next pixel it calculates and it's down at negative 20, it tries to connect those. It doesn't realize they're not supposed to be connected. I think maybe on an 84 it actually manages to not connect them, but understand that that's not part of the graph. It's not it's not this heartbeat kind of thing like that, you know, like a ECG or whatever you look at. It's individual pieces that are that are not connected there. Okay? So if I continue this along here, this is drawing this graph. It's just going to keep repeating like that. It's this repetitive pattern. Every time as you go around, this actually repeats more often than the sine graph does or the cosine graph. How often is this pattern repeating here? And if we go backwards, we can see it here as well. How often is this repeating in terms of along the x-axis? How far is it from one point in the pattern to the same point in the pattern again? Pi, right? It's repeating as of there. Whether you look at it from 0 to pi or you look at it as being, it's probably easier to look at it from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. The pattern is repeating there. The period of this is pi, whereas the period of the sine graph is 2 pi. Okay. If you want to compare the two, here's comparing the two. Let's turn that tracing off for a second. Go back to the beginning here. There's the beginning. If we look at the two of them here, uh, sine graph and tangent graph. For the beginning, it looks like the two of them are the same. But tangent kind of ramps up because you're dividing two things. Uh, the sine graph levels off because you're dividing by the same thing each time, the hypotenuse. Okay, so that's important to understand. Anyways, when you when you look at th when you work through this, the, most of this is designed for you to work through and and do some thinking about this. A lot of it is stuff you either already understand or you can understand by doing a similar, you know, going through a similar process, discuss with somebody else, ask me questions. This is actually an introduction to both 3.6 and 3.7. You're looking at the tangent function and then you're looking at the tangent graph. The tangent graph, you're, you're connecting what you're going to learn from exact values, what you do in 3.6, and you're plotting them and you're drawing a nice curve, hopefully, for the tangent graph. The only additional piece that's hard to understand about the tangent graph is looking at what happens as you get close to 90, right? 90 is undefined, but as you get closer and closer, the values, you see what happens. So what I'm doing is saying, look, look from one side of 90 and then look from the other side of 90 and see what, what happens. And then you're just trying to produce a decent graph for that. But it's not, it's not much more than that, right? Then put it on the calculator. Features of the tangent graph, if you know some of these words already, the period, we just mentioned what the period is. If you understand the word range, you can tell me what the range is. The domain is not all real numbers like it was for sine and cosine. Okay, note, this is not all real numbers. You're going to have to explain somehow or use symbols to explain what the domain is. Okay, but you work through and do this. I would say we want to aim to be done 3, 6, 3, 7, 
today it would be very nice, I would say. And then next time we can get on to working with 3.8. Only because 3.6 and 3.7 are similar to what you've already done. I went way over 10 minutes there. I'll have to split it up. But any questions?